Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop. And this is my first impressions look on the Nike KD3. So I finally got my hands on a pair. It is actually available on the sneakers app with pretty much every single size being available. For 130 bucks, it's actually pretty cheap. Uh, because I thought it'd be a little bit more expensive, you know what I mean? Uh, so if you guys do want to come, try to leave the free link in the description box. I actually haven't tried the KD3s, you know? I've tried every single KD in his signature shoe line besides the KD1, 2, and 3. So uh, this is my first time playing it. I haven't played in the old version, which, uh, yeah, I got into shoes when it was like the KD5, KD6, you know what I mean? Uh, but the KD4, I was still into shoes, but I wasn't able to get a pair because it was expensive uh, back then, right? So... Yeah, I was actually a kid and this is more than like a decade ago, which is that's that's a long time ago. Wow. <laughs> uh, but anyways, let's get started right off with the track Shiones. And in this colorway, we have pretty much a translucent outsole and it's pretty much herringbone. And it is freaking crazy because just trying it on my wood floors, it like just feeling it, it feels really, really sticky. I don't know what they did with the rubber compound, but like just just like walking around and not even just trying to test the traction. It, it sounds and feels really, really sticky, even to the hand. So uh, yeah, I don't, it feels really, really nice. As far as the actual bike goes, it feels really good as well. You know, there is a nice little squeak as well. It's not super loud, but there is a nice squeak. And I feel like once I break it in, it will start to squeak a little bit louder, but there is a nice bite on the wood floor so far right now. So uh, the bite is feeling really good. And it's uh, as far as the dust pickup goes though, so that does worry me a little bit, right? So of course we have herringbone and we have some lines as well on the lateral side, which they used to do a lot. Also, we have some flex screws here in the forefoot, right? Which help flex, I guess, a little bit. The outsole here in the forefoot, um, but like I said, it is super sticky. So I, I hope it doesn't pick and grab onto dust and dirt easily, but it might, you know? So I am a little bit worried about that, but also the durability seems like it's gonna be very good. You know, Nike used to do this really well, you know what I mean? So uh, the rubber is very hard. The grooves are super duper thick and deep. Uh, so you should be fine. You should be good to go playing on an outdoor court. I mean, uh, nowadays Nike gives us really soft rubber. They give us nubs, which I mean, I guess if you're in the US, not a huge deal because we have so many indoor basketball courts. But if you do play on an outdoor court, that does suck. You know what I mean? So, but the traction right now is feeling really good. And now moving on to the heel to toe transition, it feels okay. You know, uh, so here in the heel, this is what they used to do uh, in old school shoes, especially Nike shoes and Jordans uh, back in the day is make it super clunky here in the heel, right? So we can see all of this rubber coming up to cage the cushion, which first of all, I'm not a huge fan of. I know some people that don't really mind it, but I don't really like it, especially because it is kind of clunky, you know what I mean? And also it is a little bit squared off, you know? It's not, it's not even like a super curved shape, um, which for example, in modern shoes, we have like a rounded, a little bit more of a rounded shape. You know, this is a little bit more edged off. So it does feel a little bit more clunky here in the heel. Uh, in the forefoot, we do have a nice curve shape and we have a nice forefoot flex. So it does feel nice once you, you move into the forefoot a little bit, but here in the heel, it doesn't feel super duper smooth. Also, we do have a plastic midfoot chain plate. You guys can see right here, right? And it also comes across all the way into here. It's the same color as the midsole, so it's a little bit harder to see, but it is plastic. So yeah, overall heel to toe transition does feel uh, kind of nice but not so nice in the heel which uh, i don't really like all too much but not a huge deal and now moving on to the cushioning setup the cushioning setup it, it reminds me a lot of old school shoes you know what i mean and to think you know like back in the day it used to be pretty bad you know what i mean especially the tech you know they used to just give us phylon and uh, even now, nowadays, right? So comparing it to like the Sabrina ones and also the Zoom Freak 5, you know, they pretty much have the same exact setup, but it's a little bit different because of how it's in implemented, right? So here in the heel, right? As far as the foam goes, actually, we have Phylon. I'm guessing this is just Phylon. There's not a whole lot of tech specs on the actual KD3, even on the sneakers app, which is weird. It just says, oh, this is KD's old shoe. It's a KD3 and there's nothing about, about the tech, but um, yeah. So the foam, uh, it's kind of soft. There's a little bit of compression in the heel right um, you can feel it compress a little bit but 
Look at this, like I, like I mentioned before, look at all this caging and this rubber is really freaking hard. So there's not a whole lot of compression here in the back of the heel, right? The court feel seems really good though. The court feel, you're, you're low to the ground feels like, and I like that. And there also is a four foot zoom and you can see the little window here. And um, it's not that nice, you know what I mean? Like, like I, like I just said, you know, the Zoom Freak 5, you know, the heel cushion is so soft, and, you know, it feels a lot better. There's a lot more compression. Same thing with the Sabrina one, it's really soft in the heel, right? Also, they both have four foot zoom units and it feels like it's top loaded and I could feel those way better than the KD3. The KD3 right now, I don't really feel all too much, you know? So yeah, that's just kind of how old school shoes are. And then they're just like really bad for cushion, especially for Nike. And also, especially for Nike's cheaper shoes. Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember, but KDs used to be the budget shoe for Nike. But I guess, you know, once once the signature shoe line progresses a little bit, they start to up the tech, up the price, which makes sense. But KDs used to be the budget option, if you, if you guys didn't know. Um, but yeah, the cushion doesn't feel very nice. You know what I mean? It feels more court feel, right? It feels more responsive, but the zoom unit, not that nice. And uh, the Phylon, especially how much they cage it, I'm not that big of a fan. And, and also the insole is just, I, you know, it's just a regular Orthlite insole. It doesn't improve the step and comfort all too much, right? So there's that. Moving on to the materials. So we have old school materials, obviously, for an old school shoe. And uh, it feels actually pretty nice. It feels like a real leather. Uh, I'm not 100% sure it doesn't say anything about the materials, but it feels nice. You know, it uh, obviously le leather is on the thicker side of things, especially comparing to modern materials like mesh, textiles. Um, but obviously with leather, you're going to get a lot more durability, right? Leather lasts a lot longer. And also it is a lot more supportive, right? And once you break in leather, it does get uh, like pretty soft. You know what I mean? But right now it still feels pretty nice. It's not super cumbersome or anything like that. It conforms to my foot somewhat well, like pretty well. It's not super stiff or anything like that. Uh, the only thing is that it just feels a little bit like thick, you know? I mean, she thick, <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, it feels nice here in hand and the quality doesn't seem too bad. And also here on the lateral side, we got this synthetic material with Flywire. I miss how Flywire, I, I definitely feel, feel like Nike should bring back Flywire, you know what I mean? Because in the old school Nike shoes, we used to have nice Flywire on the upper and just look dope, you know what I mean? Uh, also, we have some more leather, right? It comes uh, like down here into the midfoot and comes all the way around into the heel and all the way into the medial side. We have this kind of like strap looking thing. You know what I mean? I don't know if you guys can see it, uh, but the, the laces go through that and we have another set of eyelets that closer down into the shoe. Um, so if you want a little bit more lockdown, I guess that would help in like theory, but I don't really think it does all too much. But yeah, and then also here at, on the lateral and medial side, we have these like kind of quarter panels. It's like, it's kind of like a denim or canvas material, right? And then uh, for the tongue, we have pretty minimal padding and it's also an independent tongue, which I don't like. Uh, old school shoes used to have a lot of independent tongues, right? But nowadays, modern shoes, we have half booty construction tongues, which connects the tongue all the way into the midfoot area, giving you a better overall one-to-one -one fit. And also it kind of keeps the tongue in place. That's why I like that design a little bit better than independent tongues. Uh, also here in the ankle area, we have very minimal padding. It looks like we have like kind of Achilles pads a little bit, but it goes really low into the shoe. So um, yeah, and it's also not very well padded, but uh, anyways, it's, it's pretty minimal. You know what I mean? So. It's, it's a pretty interesting feeling shoe because, you know, if it was a mesh material, this would be a very minimal feeling upper, right? But because it's leather, it feels a little bit thicker, especially here in the toe box and also here in the midfoot. It does feel a little bit like more cozy, right? And also a little bit thicker, but here in the ankle area, it feels very minimal because there's not a whole lot of padding. So it's a very interesting feeling upper comparing it to like modern day shoes, modern day uppers. Uh, but honestly, I'm not too mad at it. You know, usually I don't like leather, but it feels pretty nice. It conforms to my foot pretty well. It feels supportive and all that. Um, so uh, there's a material there. Moving on to the sizing. So I went up half a size because I've been going up half a size for all my Nike shoes and it fits me extremely well, right? So lengthwise, going up half a size is really good for me. My toes go very close to the edge of the shoe. So I, I suggest most of you guys go up half a size, right? Uh, if you want a super snug fit lengthwise, I guess go true to size, but just really be careful with that. Uh, also, it is slightly narrow, right? It does squeeze the side of my foot a little bit. And also here in the toe box, it's a really weird fit, right? So here, right, right on top of my toe a little bit, or I guess like a little bit closer to my the middle of my foot, uh, it, it's kind of snug here, right? But once you get here, you know, uh, like at the tip of my toe, there's a little bit of 
dead space. You know what I mean? I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like kind of rounded here. It comes up a little bit. So it is a little bit roomy, but once you go back a little bit, it does get snug. So uh, it's a weird fit. I mean, I don't mind it all too much, uh, but it does feel a little bit weird for the sizing for me. Uh, but going off of a size, it does fit me pretty well, right? So there's the sizing there. Moving on to the support in lockdown. So lateral containment feels like it's gonna be very good, of course. We do have uh, the rubber outsole coming up, acting as sidewall here in the forefoot. And also here in the heel, we have an internal TPU heel counter. So lateral containment feels like it's gonna be very good. And also obviously they're using uh, these old school materials. We have this synthetic material with fly wire. So it feels like a very supportive shoe, right? And also lateral stability. Look at how wide this is. We have a very crazy outrigger. Wide stable base here in the forefoot. And now moving on to the weight. I don't know. I feel like this shoe feels pretty light, actually, I, which is pretty surprising. So I'm guessing like 11 ounces, 12.35 ounces. Let's check the other shoe. 12.55 ounces. So it's pretty much average weight, which is weird because, you know, with all this old school materials and also like with all this rubber coming up and stuff, you would think that it would be on the heavier side. Like when I first saw it, I was like, oh, it seems like a little bit heavier, you know, but it's actually nice, just average weight. And I, also, I guess these cutouts do help to reduce the weight of the overall shoe because the outsole and midsole take up most of the weight of the shoe, right? Uh, so it does feel nice on foot. It feels like more like on the minimal side of things besides here in the toe box uh, but also it feels like it's gonna be very responsive it's low to the ground for the cushion and the traction seems really good so far so it feels pretty nice on foot right and as far as the aesthetics go i like it you know uh overall i mean the older kind of kd shoes look really good to me in my personal opinion but like the kd one through three not my favorite right my favorite's more like the the six i love how the sixes look but the kd three now that i've um, i see it in hand and also some of the colorways that are coming out it looks really dope so tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below so wrapping things up yeah i'm pretty damn excited now, it's also only 130 bucks which is basically kind of like mid-tier pricing borderline budget shoe pricing and the only thing i'm very disappointed in so far is the cushion right hopefully it breaks in nicely um but it still doesn't feel like it's gonna be as good as modern technology uh, because this shoe is basically 10 years old and i feel like maybe they should have protrude it you know what i mean give us better cushion for nowadays like modern day basketball you know uh, but either way it's still feeling pretty damn nice so uh i'm liking it so far that about concludes my first impressions look on the nike kd3 again if you guys do want to cop i try to leave an affiliate link in the description box but that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one